And you attend hundreds of miles of roadway and railway in need of repair from Colorado's flooding. And little time being wasted to get that work done. Russell Haythorn live. And Russell, both CDOT and Union Pacific telling you tonight they are dealing with very little red tape. Mike, it's hard to compare the two because railroads are a simpler fix. Union Pacific, however, was repairing railway just two days after the floodwaters hit. CDOT, for its part, says it is repairing roadways faster than it ever has before. It's a 24-hour operation. Air Tracker 7 over railroad repair work today near Millican in Weld County and over this stretch of track still down in Boulder County. We're accustomed to responding to natural disasters, whether it be from floods, from snowstorms. As for the roads, CDOT says its contractors are working day and night as well. A lot of work as quickly as we can, especially before December 1st. CDOT spokeswoman Amy Ford says for the first time ever, some state regulations are being bypassed. As a result, no bid contracts are being accepted from reputable companies so that paperwork doesn't get in the way of progress. We are not waiting around for bids. Essentially, the way this is going to work is what work you do, we will pay you for. CDOT says on September 13th, it had 33 roads closed. Today, that number is down to 14. Just this weekend, we were able to open eight different stretches of roadway. As for the railroad, this is a photo of the Moffett line in Jefferson County. The grade under the track literally washed away but this line should be back up in two weeks. We ask everyone in those communities for their patience. Union Pacific is bringing rock in from a quarry in Cheyenne, so much rock that it's now running 20 plus trains a day from Cheyenne to Greeley to Denver. That's up from an average of 11 on a daily basis. We're live tonight, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.